Hi, uh, my name's Tim. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Mother Knows Best by Serena Valentino. This is book five in the Disney Villains series. Love me a Two Face cover. Um, I'll do a quick kind of non spoiler version, and then after that, I'll go into spoilers, I think. So, first of all, let's read the back. A tale as long and twisted as the braided hair at the centre of its legend. A girl with magical hair taken from her parents and confined to an isolated tower. Her captor, an old witch who acts as an overprotective mother who knows what's best. But what does Mother Gothel actually know? This account digs deep into the past to find out why she believes in her heart the mother truly knows best. Okay. Um, that That's not really true. <laughs> um, what this covers is the vast majority. This covers Mother Gothel when she's very young. And uh, I'm going to... Mild spoilers in terms of saying that there are characters in it. So uh, Mother Gothel has two sisters. Primrose and Hazel. And their mother, there's just the four of them. Gothel, mum, two sisters. They live in the dead woods. Because her mother is like master of the dead. And... Uh, looks after all of the dead. So the local towns, they take, once their loved ones have died, they take them to the forest. And uh, Mother Gothel's mum looks after them. And she's a witch. And she has crazy magic powers. And she basically uh, lives forever until she decides she's had enough and then hands over to someone to take over. Uh, it's been a very long time. And... Gothel is bored of of living in this dead woods. Uh, her sisters are very different personalities. Um, she is more similar to her mother. That's the setup. That is super interesting. Really different. Not what I was expecting. Um, you get loads of uh, stuff with Gothel and her sisters. That's the main story. Rapunzel doesn't come into this as much you do get uh, a bit of history on the flower and why the flower is so important to her and the magic properties of the flower and things like that and then uh at some point in the way through you get the odd sisters appear the odd sisters have appeared in every single one of these disney villain books these are original creation by serena valentino and some books so in some books they're okay in some books they're really bad in no books are they good, uh, in terms of enjoyment. Um, this one, they start off okay, because they're normal people. Because what one thing that's interesting about this story is that it takes place over a really long time. Because the characters can live forever. Uh, so Or live for a really long time because they use the flower to kind of keep themselves young. Uh, so we see the history of the Odd Sisters and what happens to them. The thing is, is that I found it... I didn't. I haven't read the last book in a while, and uh, I was like, "Wait, why are they acting like this?" Oh, yeah, because they did the thing. And wait, what? What point are they in now in the story? Uh, in the Odd Sisters story, uh, bit hard to kind of keep keep track of what's going on. For me, anyway, as someone who is a casual uh, Odd Sisters fan, I'm really not a fan of the Odd Sisters. And at the end, the Odd Sisters are back to being how they are in other stories, which is complete non-characters. Just complete psychopathic lunatics who aren't real people in any way. You know, they they just randomly pull their own hair out. And, and, and when they laugh, they like physically roll on the floor laughing over something that is not funny in any way. And like wouldn't even make you chuckle. Very strange. Um, one thing as well is that this does go through the plot of Rapunzel or plot of Tangled. It does it in like the last 50 pages and it whips through it. Really didn't enjoy that. Really didn't enjoy that. So a few like different locations that we we go to um, in Gothel's life. I enjoy the Deadwoods the most by far. Then you have a little cottage, which is OK, but seemingly a lot of time passes here. And, and we don't really see much of it. The pacing really like zooms along. And then you have the tower and, and the plot of Tangled. Um, 
overall, I give this uh, a rating of three stars. I think it's got some things that are good, some things that are really not so good. Um, and ultimately, I'm not going to continue <clears throat> to continue this series. I've got the first five on my shelves, so I read them. Um, I think the next one is just about the Odd Sisters. Uh, and then the one after that's about Cruella de Vil. And I don't... I don't know if the, how big a role the Odd Sisters play in the other books. Maybe, like, the sixth one is the Odd Sisters, and that kind of closes that off. And then we kind of move on, and it becomes more episodic or, or you know, things about each character. But, so far in what I've read, I've read five books. And it started off with Fairest of Them All with the Evil Queen from Snow White, where she was the main character. And the Odd Sisters were your, like, sprinkling of, like, ooh... And then you had The Beast Within. I can't really remember that one. Then <laughs> it was similar, but I don't really see The Beast as a villain, so it didn't quite work for me. Then you had Poor Unfortunate Soul, where Ursula was not the main character. The Odd Sisters were the main character. But every single main character was one, was not part of the Disney canon. And the ending was really poor, because instead of seeing the ending from Ursula's perspective, who is meant to be the main character of the book... We see it from the Odd Sisters' perspective, who were not the main characters in the book. Then we had uh, Maleficent, Mistress of All Evil. That was okay. Maleficent was much more of a main character. She had much more drive. Um, and the Odd Sisters were there, but it was more about Maleficent. This one, it's a little bit of both. So while it's about Gothel, it's really interesting. And then the Odd Sisters turn up, and then Gothel only cares about the Odd Sisters. Uh, and then the ending is similar to uh, Poor Unfortunate Soul. So I said I would do like a spoiler warning. I just forgot that. Sorry. Uh, now we're talking about spoilers. Let's talk about that. Boop, boop, boop. Spoiler warning. My thoughts are all over the place on this, as you can tell. Uh, yeah. Spoiler warning. Here we go. Gothel in the Woods. Super interesting. Her sister's quite two-dimensional characters especially prim uh who's just like i like fairies and ribbons um and that's about it one thing that's weird is that gothel says she wants to leave and then her mother's like oh but i'm gonna i'm gonna give you the magic and she's like now i want to stay and her sister wants to leave and she's like oh why would you want to leave and it's like you, you like the previous day you were talking about how to get out um then you have the mother dies Pretty cool scene. All the Rapunzel flower is burnt. Um, and bar one. And Gothel takes over as the Queen of the Dead. And her and her relationship with the main skeleton, Sir Jacob, is quite interesting. I wanted way more of that. I wanted her... Sir Jacob was up to something. I don't know what he was up to because we never see it. And it's annoying because... I was like, is there there's something here? And we never got into that because we were too busy focusing on other things, like the Odd Sisters. But anyway, then the Odd Sisters appear. Uh, and got all so obsessed with the Odd Sisters, they have a big Christmas party. That was a bit weird. Um, but her sisters are, since their mother attacked... Well, then the mother comes back as an evil tornado. And Gothel, like, officially banishes her. That was weird and unnecessary, I think. But then after that, her sisters just get sick and they just die. I don't know what of. They just get really, really sick over a period of months. And then she goes and like it's like, oh, I'm going to find a way to heal them. I'm going to go get the magic because that will heal them. And then she just thinks for like a minute about, oh, it would be good to have magic. And then her sisters die and she's like, oh, this is all my fault because I delayed. And like, They've been sick for months. Like, what are you, why are you worrying about a minute when you were like, didn't do anything for months and months? Um, yeah, again, kind of that comes up in the writing a lot of all of these books is that characters are just incredibly emotional and over the top, uh, and swing back and forth wildly, um, on, on opinions and issues, uh, depending just to cause the most drama. But anyway, her sisters are dead and she's obsessed with bringing her sisters back. But she doesn't have like necromantic magic. And so the Odd Sisters try and help her. And then and then the king, the king of Corona, you know, from Tangled, 
uh, he come his army comes in, and they have to leave the woods. They have to leave the dead woods. She has to leave her home, and so Jacob bravely dies again to defend her, and that's the end of him. Which is a shame because he was quite an interesting character, and they yeah, never seen again. Never comes back. Then she goes to a cottage, and she. I think she hides in the cottage for a bit, and then one day she just goes and steals Rapunzel. Um, I'm missing. There's another flower. There's a backup flower or something. Yeah, there's like a backup flower at the cottage, and then they take the flower from that cottage to go heal Rapunzel, go heal the mum. That was weird. That was like messy. And they were like, "This is the last flower." Oh no, no, we have another flower. Oh no, no, that flower's gone. Um, and then she goes and steals Rapunzel, and she hires like a nurse and a, a, a nanny and a housekeeper and like puts them under secrecy and Rapunzel seems to go and have quite a nice life for a bit <coughs> but then we get the odd sisters appear and something happens and then she has to leave she has to leave the cottage again I'm trying to remember this this I've read this like I finished this like four days ago and I'm struggling to remember details mainly due to sleep deprivation, but also due to the fact that it wasn't mm, gripping enough. But anyway, they go, to, and in the end, they go to the tower, and one thing I found quite interesting was that Rapunzel's childhood ends up being a dream. So they put her to sleep, so that because Mother Gothel can't be bothered to be a mum. <sighs> Why? Because then... Because she's so obsessed with bringing her sisters back that she can't be bothered to be a mum. But what's she doing? What's she doing for all of this time? You know, she's doing it for like 18 years. She's trying to bring back her sister. And you get like one attempt in the book and it doesn't go well. And that's it. But she's not being a mum. She's just living in a house. Not doing anything. Weird. Just really weird. Um, and then you have the odd sisters keep like appearing and disappearing. And you see them gradually become more and more insane. Because you see them before they've like given up part of their body soul to make Cersei. Um, which I think is what the mother did to Gothel. But I'm not quite sure. But so you see them before that when they're kind of normal people. And then afterwards they become insane people. And then they get they got trapped in the mirror dimension by Cersei. That happens in another book. Uh, and suddenly, suddenly you cut and they're just in the mirror dimension. And I was like, why, why are they in the mirror dimension? I can't quite remember. So again, we get the last 50 pages of just, they're just watching Tangled on television and they're like shouting at the characters and laughing. And, and, and now, so, um, Rapunzel has woken up. So Gothel has to pretend to be a mum and she literally has to pretend to be a mum for like three days. And in that time she gets killed. Like... Just, just weird. Just really weird um, choice. And again, you're watching Tangled, not from Gothel's perspective. You're watching it from the Odd Sisters' perspective, who were just stuck in a mirror dimension watching it equivalent on TV. It's so boring. It's so boring to read about someone watching something else happen to someone else. Especially when the whole point of this series is like, oh, what's it really like from their perspective? It's not from their perspective. It's from the Odd Sisters' perspective, and it's boring. And that is why, like, every time with these books, there's something interesting, something different. Oh, she's the daughter of a necromancer. She grew up in, like, the dead woods, filled by dead people. Whoa, that's super weird. That's really cool. And then the Odd Sisters turn up, and then it just becomes about them. I don't care about the Odd Sisters. So, yeah. The bits I like... I will bring it up to a three star, but oh, I found it so frustrating, so frustrating. And I found every book frustrating in the same way. Uh, the only difference in rating is, is how much I liked the other bits. So this will never be more than a three star for me because, because of the odd sisters and because <coughs> of the prose being so flip floppy and melodramatic characters and and it will never be more than that. So I've I've read five of them. And that's enough for me. I'm done. I'm done. So yeah. 
that's my thoughts on it. Oh, what a rant. What a ramble. I, I'm, I'm going to put it that way now, because that's how I feel after reading these books. I just feel old and tired and, and, and bored of reading the same thing over and over and over again. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Give this video a like. Subscribe. I'll see you soon. Get out of my house!